everyone. It's Thanksgiving and I just woke up. <laughs> I didn't go to bed again until 5 a.m. But I wanted to talk today about the one time I was pulled over for uh, suspected drunk driving. Uh, I, this was a time where I had nine dachshunds and I just had a new litter. Well, I didn't. The dog did. And we had a um, housekeeper who was told many, many times, don't put the little babies in with the adult dachshunds. And while we were, uh, my uh, husband at the time and I were going through Maryland, I was smoking back then. And about five hours earlier, I'd had dinner where I had two beers. And uh, I happened to, we happened to find out that the our, our maid uh, mixed the dogs together and they, uh, one of the adult dogs had killed one of the babies. This was a long-haired miniature dachshund and we named him Zorro and my husband at the time was livid. I mean, livid. He wanted to seriously hurt our maid. So we were both very, very sad and maybe not ourselves. So uh, we noticed um, a lot of cops along the side of the road and I just happened to light up a cigarette at the same time that they were telling me to pull over and I was driving. And I also had a concealed weapons permit and I had a gun in the back. And I heard him say like code blue or something like that. I've come to find out after everything was done that uh, when drunk drivers uh, think they're gonna get pulled over, they'll light a cigarette to mask the smell of the alcohol. Well, that was not the case with me. So they pulled me over and the the police officer did not know that I was an ex-police officer. That was his that was his downfall. And I hope the wind is not gonna ruin this video. Oh <laughs> so I'm pulled over and immediately the cop thinks I am just two sheets to the wind. He tells me to get out. Now I have stilettos on. I have about a hundred pairs of stilettos. So he makes me get out and he makes me do the, the drunk walk. I guess you could say. So here I am putting toe to toe in stilettos and I looked up at the man. Now this was before I had a spinal fusion and all this other stuff that went on with me. I looked up at the police officer and he's giving me that look and I said, sir, you put on my high heels and you try to do this. Well, he didn't like my attitude. I guess they always think that I'm drunk but that's the way I always am all the time. So then he gives me the ink pen test and I'm following it and he still is not satisfied. And I kept saying, let me speak to your sergeant. Please let me speak to your sergeant. He wouldn't listen to me. So then he gives me um, the breathalyzer and I blow a zero. He still is not convinced. So I blow in again. So finally, after my insistence, he goes and gets his uh, sergeant. And I told the sergeant the story. I said, uh, we we're all a little agitated because we just lost one of our um, dachshunds. And I said, I am sober. I was blowing a zero. And these made the cops so mad that they was trying to pin this on me. And uh, thank God they didn't search the back of the car because you're not supposed to leave one state and go into another because I was going into Virginia with this gun in the back because you're not supposed to take firearms across the border, you know, the so, uh, yeah, that's the one time where uh, just by lighting a cigarette, I, I was getting in trouble, but I was not guilty. All right. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you like my story.